The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Liam comes to the ER with a cut ear. Tristan's gallbladder surgery is complicated by sickle cell anemia. Joseph is injured in a hockey game. And Kaya's Aunt Sherry donates a kidney to save her life. They told me that I would probably dislike my niece for a while because she's going to respond quicker than I will. But as long as she's better, that's all that matters. Two-year-old Kaya has been brought to the hospital from her home in Thunder Bay in the final stage of kidney failure. Without a kidney transplant, Kaya faces physical and developmental delays and eventually certain death. Oh, yeah. oh, is that a picky? To ensure the preservation of Kaya's life, Kaya's Aunt Sherry has made the decision to donate one of her kidneys for the transplant. Here we go. Where's mommy? Say mommy. Oh. 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 Back in December, on, on 28th actually, we brought her in, we thought she had a chest cold. We found out after a chest x-ray and blood work that um, her kidneys had stopped working. She went into cardiac arrest, they resuscitated her, um, stabilized her as much as possible. They said that hopefully our best bet was to get her transplanted um, within the year. Yeah. It's quite the little trooper though. She's, if you look at her, she'd never guess that she was sick. She's just such a, such a good kid. They told me that I would probably dislike my niece for a while because she's gonna respond quicker than I will, but I don't think that can happen. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. As long as she's better, that's all that matters. With the surgery just two days away, Kaya is taken to have a long-lasting IV called the central line inserted into her jugular vein. Doctors need this to administer her many medications over the course of the transplant. I'm uh, Mike Temple. I'm one of the interventional radiologists, and okay. I'm going to be putting the central line in today. Okay. okay. Now, there's always risks with everything that you do. Um, infection is one of the main risks with this. We're very careful when we put these in to try to make sure that we don't introduce infection, but that's, that's always a risk. Okay. Kaya's mother will accompany her to the procedure room and stay with her until she's asleep. So we're going to go all the way down to the hall. Okay. <laughs> so, Mom, you know, when we give her the medicine, she's going to walk to sleep. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? So once that's working, away we go. Okay. Okay. This okay. one? So she's going to drift off to sleep. Sometimes yeah. this stings a little bit. Okay. I'm going to be real quick. There we go. There we go. That's you great. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. All right. Good job. I just give her a kiss. Yeah. By all means. Okay. Thank you. Now that Kaya is sedated, the central line insertion can get underway. Now she's hit a line before, so it's actually quite tough in this area. Can we get the lights down, please? The procedure goes by the book until Kaya's anesthetist reports a sudden change in her vital signs. Oh, really? Okay. Kaya has had an allergic reaction to an antibiotic. Are you, is she okay? She is wheezing, and her chest has become so constricted that her ability to breathe is jeopardized. The anesthetist administers Ventolin, and an antihistamine to try to reverse the effects of the allergic reaction and get Kaya breathing normally again. Eleven-year-old Tristan Kerr has painful gallstones and needs surgery to have his gallbladder removed. I am good morning. Good morning. The surgery is usually simple, but for Tristan, any surgery is especially risky. 
He suffers from sickle cell anemia, an incurable blood disorder that compromises his immune system and can make any infection potentially fatal. That's a lot of blood that came from me. Um, Tristan has sickle cell anemia, and uh, how we found out he came in for um, hernia repair, and while doing blood work, that's how they found out that he has full-blown sickle cell. Yeah, so then um, it was December, and like, <laughs> it like worst Christmas for me when I found that out, you know, because no one in my family has it, you know, and to find out like my first child is diagnosed with sickle cell, that just, you know, made, it was awful. Yeah, and from then on, it's like he's been in and out of, in and out of the hospital. It's really hard. It's one day, one day, we hope that they'll find a cure, that, you know, they will lead normal lives. Yeah. Kaya's mother stands by as the central line procedure is underway. Unbeknownst to her, Kaya is being medicated to reverse a severe allergic reaction to an antibiotic. You're okay. With Kaya stable and breathing well, the radiologist completes the insertion of the central line. That looks good there. So I just check, make sure that the both sides are working fine. Great. Hi. 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 Um, the line is in. Yeah. The, the insertion went fine. No okay. problems whatsoever. Okay. okay. Um, but during the procedure, she did have a reaction to, to an antibiotic that was given. We actually give antibiotics because infection is one of the main risks with this. Okay. And she actually re reacted fairly strongly to this. Um, it's a good thing that she was in with us, kind of in the environment that she was in. Okay. Um, her, her chest actually kind of tightened up, making it harder for the anesthetist to kind of get any air in, and her blood pressure dipped down a little bit. So I've got the name of the drug here. It's called Ansef or Cefazolin, and she can actually never have it again. She's probably back in recovery by now. Um, so the, the nurses need a chance to check her over. As soon as she starts coming around a little bit, you can go back and see her. Okay. Okay. It's brutal. Kaya's kidney transplant is 36 hours away. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. How are you? Tristan and his mother consult with his sickle cell physician before the gallbladder surgery. You feeling well today? Yep. Um, Dr. Kirby, is this rare in like sickle cell kids like to have gallstones or um, and, like, at this young age? No. Um, because of the, with sickle cell disease, the, the short, it's a very shortened lifespan of red cells. Instead of red cells lasting about 120 days, they, go, they last probably about closer to 45 days. And so there's a rapid turnover of red cells. One of the breakdown products of the red cells is bilirubin. Okay. And that accumulates in, that, that goes to the, within the gallbladder, that's where it's stored. And you can form gallstones bilirubin stones in the gallbladder as a result of the increased bilirubin production. In the next week, um, you want to stay healthy in preparation for surgery. Mm -hmm. um, Tristan, you have to pay attention to dressing warmly. Yes. Does he wear long, long underwear? Yes, okay. yes, yeah. And a good, good coat, and don't forget your mittens. You know, I give him, like, mitts to wear, and he'll take them off and pull his sleeve down. You know, I'm like, Tristan, but you're cold. No, I'm not. Last week we had several patients in, yeah. and I think the change in the weather, weather made a big difference. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. If Tristan can remain so healthy, go his gallbladder will be removed in one week. Thanks, okay. Dr. Kirby. Bye, Bye. Kirby. Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> it's the morning of Kaya's kidney transplant. Her father has arrived from Thunder Bay. You want to get down? Transplants are trying for all parents. But when the donor organ comes from a living family member, emotions run especially high. She told me, because um, she was at the, in the emergency room when she first got sick, and uh, she told me that that moment, when we found out it was her kidneys, she decided if she was a match, it was, it was Kaya's. <laughs> yeah, so. It's the best thing that she could ever give me. 
It was almost like it was meant to be. I mean, she was a perfect match for it, so. <laughs> Everything kind of just fell into place yeah. that way. You know, you take it for granted when you have kids that they're going to be <laughs> healthy. And it really, it's, you're blessed when you do. It's something that we, none of us should take for granted. I guess you don't realize it until something does happen, how blessed you are. Kaya's kidney transplant and hope for a new lease on life is just hours away. I see you after. It's the morning of Kaya's life-saving kidney transplant. Her Aunt Sherry will be the first to be taken to the operating room. Two. Two. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you feeling okay? Yeah. All yeah. nervous? Uh, not yet. No? Why don't you tell me he has to leave then? <laughs> Probably will be, but... Well, your operation is more painful than, uh, than the transplant itself, believe it or not. Yeah. But we'll give you this uh, uh, pump that you can pump uh, pain medicine into yourself. Okay. Very good. Okay, so we're on our way. It's time for Kaya's aunt to be taken to the operating room. Yeah, go see auntie. Go see auntie. For a minute. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. See you later. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is our room. Did you have a big breakfast? Yes, sir. Good. We're gonna have a big day. Yeah. Now that Sherry is asleep, her surgeon will begin to remove her kidney. Can we have the bed higher, please? We all set, uh, honey? We get started? Knife. Somebody put my table So we go a, a relatively high incision in the, uh, in the side of the patient, of the donor, I should say, because she's not a patient. She's a generous donor, helping her niece. And we try and give her the smallest incision we can. We're not removing a diseased kidney here. She's not a patient. So the last thing we want is to make her recovery prolonged, which means we have to work a lot harder. Okay, let's open Giroda's back there. Ten-year-old Liam has been brought to the hospital's emergency room after an accident at school. Hopefully you only need a couple of stitches, but if you get a couple of stitches, you can show all your friends. <laughs> like I'd rather that. the glue down. Can I have a seat over here? Hi. Hi, I'm Nelson. Nice to meet you. To meet you. What happened to you today? Well, I was playing tag mm -hmm. with my friends at recess, mm -hmm. and there was a, you ran past a portable, and there was an air conditioner sticking out like okay. a window. One, so we were running across and I hit my ear on the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wipe this off a little bit so I can get a look at it, okay? Ow. I know. Ow, that hurts. Sorry. I'm just holding it still. I'm not gonna rub. So I just wanna soak the scab off a little bit. So how do we clean the ear out of his... I just want to take a look with the flashlight. Okay, the inside looks great, and there's actually no blood on the inside okay. of the ear. Right. It's all on the outside. It didn't all pour in. And... Right. I'm going to take a look at this again. So the question is really whether we can close this with some skin glue or whether we need to put stitches in it. Mm -hmm. You prefer glue, huh? 
One thing that we have to do is we'll have to clean it up really well. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some stuff together. Good. Liam has never had stitches and would prefer to keep it that way. The time for Kaya's surgery has now arrived. Ooh, glasses on, eh? <laughs> Her family must say goodbye. <laughs> Okay, smooch for mommy. Mm, I love you. Um, Take good care of the cat. Hold on tight, okay? Okay. Kaya's going on her way. It's the ride. Bye. Bye, Kaya. See you in a while. Bye, bye. Wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Going to the giraffe room. Oh, we're going in the giraffe room. While anesthesia puts Kaya to sleep, her surgeon prepares for the transplant. Right now, Tony is is getting the kidney dissected and prepared. Uh, we start a little bit later because it takes usually less time for us to to prepare the recipient, the child to receive the kidney than for them to take the kidney out. In a small child, it's more difficult. So we'll, we'll see how things go today. At just two years old, Kaya is very small for transplant surgery. Right. Putting an adult kidney into her tiny frame makes her susceptible to the formation of deadly blood clots. We have to do a very precise uh, hemostasia here because we're going to heparinize her. Huh? Yeah. Kaya will receive maximum doses of heparin, a blood thinner, to try to prevent blood clots from forming. Liam's in luck. The cut on his ear can be repaired simply using skin glue. All right, nice and clean. Head back and turn it a little to the side. I'm just going to try to line it up. It's kind of a tricky position. Let's have you turn your head down a little bit more. And actually, if you can push up right there. Perfect. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put the glue on in a moment. I'm just trying really hard to line it up really nicely. Ow. I know. Okay. <laughs> Is that the glue? Yeah. Does it feel cold? Wet? Yeah. Too silly. It's almost over. Almost done. Ow, it tickles. There you go. Done yet? So I have to paint it on, just like we're gluing something back together. Yeah, you just. Try to sit still. Do you want to take a close look at it? Sure. What? I can show your dad now. You'll have to use a mirror to look at it. It'll be dry in just a few seconds, and then we'll let you get dressed. Yeah, you did a great job. Like a new man, new boy, and uh, probably gonna play hockey tonight if he's up. That's fine. That's Kaya's transplant surgery has been underway for two hours. Sherry's kidney has been removed and is taken to Kaya's operating room. There you go, sir. One hot kidney off the press. How is the size of this kidney, sir? Hmm? The kidney's not too big, but it's okay. It's a bit long, but it's not very fat. And the um, artery is small, so it can fit easily on the common area. The team inspects Kaya's veins to ensure they will make good connections. Let's see the artery. But there is a serious problem. Almost sealed up, man. Hmm? It's almost sealed up. Yeah, it's a thrombus there, an old thrombus. The vein is uh, sealed internally with a thrombus. 
This discovery could be disastrous. Without good veins to use as connections, Kaya's transplant may not go forward. And Sherry may have undergone surgery for nothing. It has been four hours since Kaya and her Aunt Sherry were taken to the OR. Kaya's blocked vein may put the transplant in jeopardy. A vascular surgeon has been called for a consultation. Hey John, let's take a look from the Pippi's side there at this vein. We're doing a transplant on this uh, two-year-old. I'm just wondering, is it safe for us to go ahead and transplant to this now? Well, uh, you know, I don't know if you have any choice. What, what, would your option be just go higher up? I mean, it doesn't yeah. look bad. No. no. Well, yeah. what about downstream? What was what was from both both? I don't know. Just it's an intraoperative surprise. Huh? So it's it's going to be less flow on that anyway, right? Okay. Typically, there will be less flow on the internal, all right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I think you're going to be fine. Fine. Do, do, do you uh, can use uh, can use uh, for those heparin post op for a while? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got it fully heparinized now. Yeah. I never yeah, had something like that. It's weird. Yeah. Okay, again, we see guys. it all the time, unfortunately. But, Came off. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it, Pippi, then. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Let me know if there's an issue with that. Thank you. The team agrees that the vein, while narrow, is usable. They begin to connect the kidney. So the heparin is in already, huh? Yeah. Uh, and what's the temperature now? Bring that to you, then, huh? Let's have a piece of 6-0, please. Cut here. Switch your scissors. Cut here. Thirteen-year-old Joseph has been brought to the hospital with a knee injury. So, I'm Dr. Janae Wise. And so, what happened to you? Um, I got... Hit in the knee by someone else <clears throat> during a hockey game. He kind mm -hmm. of came across and hit me here. Bent my knee kind of awkwardly. And ever since then, it's been, I couldn't pay, put any pressure on it, or else it hurts to okay. stand. Did you fall down? Yeah. Were you able to get up from the game? I tried, but fell back down <laughs> okay. again. What position do you play? Uh, forward. Forward. And do you play, is it a advanced league or yeah, a league? What level do you play at? Double A. Oh, very competitive then. Okay. And so how did you get the crutches and the... We just embrace? had these at home for my brother. For my brother, okay. Yeah. Have you iced it? Yes. Okay. So, and how were you putting the ice on? Just put it on and then either wrap the tents or bandage around it, just hold it. Okay, good. So can you climb up there? So have you been able to put any pressure on it at all? Um, a tiny bit, but it hurts. It hurts? I've just been using crutches. Okay. All right, let's just get it to lie down. I'm just going to put some pressure on it. You tell me if it hurts at all. No? If I do that, does that hurt at all? So I'm going to bend your knee now. Why don't you just, you just lie down. You just relax. I'm just going to bend it all the way. Start shirting here. There, it shirts there. Okay. Now I'm going to bend it all the way back. That yeah. hurt? Yeah. That hurts? Yeah, that hurts. You were hit on this side? Yeah. That side? Okay. All right. Can we try and see? You want to try walking or you want to, uh, you I'll think it's try. too hard? Sure. Okay. If you think you can, we'll try. If not, just, just put some pressure on it and see what happens. Just start shooting under there. Under there, right? Okay. Have a seat again. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture, take an x-ray, and uh, we'll have a look at it, okay? Joseph needs an x-ray to look for fractures in his knee. Just keep your leg exactly like that. Make sure you don't move. A broken knee could be the end of Joseph's hockey season. Kaya's Aunt Sherry has been moved from the OR to the recovery room. And Sherry's kidney has been transplanted into Kaya. Before Kaya leaves the OR, 
ultrasound checks that the new connections are intact and blood is flowing in and out of the kidney. Hi. 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 Good news. The kidney is good color. It's already peeing a lot. Yeah. So it's going to be very good. And everything went very really well. We did find some problems in the vein, and that created a little bit of a problem for us. But uh, it's, it's right now flowing very well, everything. We have to be careful about forming another thrombos that can clot the uh, renal vein. Okay. But, uh, that's why we, we gave heparin, you probably mm -hmm. know it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank so you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Minutes after Kaya is moved to the critical care unit, her new kidney has suddenly stopped producing urine. Her kidney specialist orders an ultrasound. Just as doctors feared, another blood clot is forming. Kaya is rushed back to the OR for emergency surgery. It will take a miracle of surgical skill to clear the blood clot and save the kidney. It has been a tense two hours since Kaya was rushed back to the OR for emergency surgery. The team has managed to remove a large blood clot from her renal vein. Can we unclamp the uh, proximal artery? Yep. Hang on. So we're unclamped now, guys. It's big enough. And once again, ultrasound checks her kidney function. Yeah, okay. Well, we are getting our trail venous flow now. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good job, though, with the, to save the kidney, at least. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been One year less of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Five on ours. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we did find, uh, thanks God that uh, Diane picked up so quickly, we, we found a big thrombos in the vein, a, we, a big clot. We redid the sewing and uh, the arteries there in the vein, and uh, we managed to get the kidney with blood supply again. So now what we have is that there's a little, little bit of urine coming, okay. not very much, and because we had less blood flow to the kidney for a certain period of time, the kidney may not work right away. Okay. So that's what we're going to have to watch carefully. Okay. Okay, so we'll speak to you later then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. After a total of 12 long hours, Kaya's parents are finally able to see her. The x-rays of Joseph's injured knee are ready. We'll get you to sit on the chair, and then we'll show you oh, the x-ray. Yeah, I put it up already for you. So, that's your knee. So those are your bones, but they look pretty good. I don't see anything, no oh. chips or nothing off of them. What's that little bumpy thing on the thing? This? Yeah. This here? What's that? Uh, that's called the tibial tuberosity, oh. and it's normal. Oh. And he has no pain over there. That's fine. What we're going to do is we'll put on, we'll just put this on, and this will just help give your knee a little bit of support. But it's not a cast or anything. But in the meantime, no hockey. For a week at least, you're not going to be playing hockey. All right. Be a spectator now. It's the morning of Tristan's surgery. My friend. He meets the surgeon who will remove his gallbladder. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah? You all ready to go? Okay. Let me run through, let me run through things with you, okay? I'll draw you a picture of what this looks like. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the operating room. You're going to fall asleep, okay? After you're asleep, here's your belly. There's your belly button. Your head's up here, okay? All right, we're going to make a little poke hole in the bottom of your belly button and put a skinny camera in that's about as fat as my pen, okay? And then we're going to make a little poke hole here and a little one here and a little one here. And we're going to put these long skinny instruments in. We're going to have the camera in there which is hooked up to a big television monitor, all right? And we can look inside your belly and we can see everything really nice, okay? And the plan is, is to use those instruments to help detach the gallbladder from the liver and, and take it out. If you didn't have sickle cell disease, if that wasn't an issue, then the majority of people go home the next day. Sure. Okay? Oh, so yes. we have a protocol here that we follow for people like Tristan that have sickle cell disease. We're going to run his IV fluids at a much higher rate. We're going to keep the room nice and warm. We're going to keep his pain under control. We're going to give him antibiotics. We're going to give him oxygen. Okay. All right, buddy? All right. See you soon, okay? Okay. He's smiling. <laughs> it's time for Tristan to be taken to the operating room. So we're gonna go for a little ride now. Okay, thank you. The team begins by making the small incisions they will use to insert the camera and instruments into Tristan's abdominal cavity. It has been just 14 hours since Kaya's kidney transplant. Are you having a good sleep? No. No. <coughs> Do you have a thing on your arm? <coughs> you want us to take it off? <coughs> well, we can, honey. You have to wait and talk to the doctor, OK? Mommy will talk to the doctor and find out. <coughs> Morning. Morning. She had a good night, you know, with uh, the urine output was great, comp considering what the, the rush that we, we had last night. Yeah. Blood pressure is stable, everything is fine. I think it should be all right. Making sure everything stays all right means the critical care team must watch Kaya to ensure no new blood clots are forming. The first 10 days of her recovery would be the most crucial. Three days after her kidney was removed, Kaya's Aunt Sherry is healing well and can visit her niece for the first time. Hey, babe. You want to see Auntie Shershi? Say hi, Auntie Shershi. Where's your boo-boos? Uh, uh, no. Are you tired? Can Auntie have a kiss? Hey. Okay. Can you give Auntie a kiss? Uh, I'm just a little one. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Better? It's more right now. Can I take little bubbles for you? Can you can blow some bubbles. Sherry will be discharged and return home in the morning. Her surgical wound will be monitored by her family doctor as she continues to recover. Okay, no more. 
Tristan has been in surgery for two hours. Doctors are ready to separate his gallbladder from his liver. All right, have the bag ready. All right, let's separate this off. Okay, so now we've got the gallbladder separated. You just, we gotta put it in a bag to get it out of the belly. Okay, put the gallbladder in the bag. Get it there, okay, close that up. That's the funnest part, okay, and then let's take uh, Kelly. Aha, very good. Looks a lot smaller when you get it out. <laughs> But there's, uh, you can feel the stones inside it. There's, there's a few stones that are each about, feel about a good half a centimeter in size. Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? Okay, thanks. Have a seat. Everything went fantastic. Okay. No problems. Yeah. He had a long, skinny gallbladder. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But that's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> everything, everything went fine. Uh, the gallbladder came out as expected. Okay, okay, it wasn't too scarred, it wasn't too stuck. Okay. Um, when we took it out, you could feel two or three stones in there, about a half a centimeter in size. Okay. Okay. And he'll be in constant obs observation tonight. All right. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. See you later. Okay, okay. thanks. Tristan is now resting in the recovery room. Nice to meet you. I'm Tracy. I'm Tracy. Just woke up. Mm -hmm. He's doing well. Um, he had a little bit of pain. We just gave him some morphine. He seems to be a little bit more comfortable. Hey, Tristan. You say hi to Mom? Yeah. <laughs> so he's doing really well. Stomach? Okay. How do I swim? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you want to go back to sleep? He said he was having a little bit of um, tummy pain. Okay. So we've got uh, morphine that we can give for pain when he needs it. All right. So he's had one dose, and we'll see if it's done anything. And then if not, we'll just give him some more. Okay. So you get, you gonna rest now? Five days after her kidney transplant, Kaya is experiencing considerable pain. This could mean yet another blood clot has formed. Her mother does her best to keep their spirits up while ultrasound looks for evidence of blockages in Kaya's kidney. Uh, you're okay, sweet. Uh, it's okay. Oh, Look at the picture. Is that silly? Ready. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. You have jelly beans in there. You uh, have jelly me? beans in there. If there was a clot, would it show up a different color? Uh, no, there won't. There will be no color. Because oh, okay. the color is basically like a heat blood flow. flow. Okay. If Kaya it? does have another blood clot, she could be facing yet another troubling trip to the operating room. It's been four days since Kaya's diagnostic ultrasound. A blood clot was discovered in her leg, but it is not life-threatening. Hello. 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 How are you? Good. I can't hear you. Well, things I was looking now, the the information, the chart, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. So the tendency is to this clot to dissolve. But she's doing very well, the kidney is working well. Now there is the long-term follow-up, but it's an acute phase that is the most important one, you know, after transplant. It's right now is fine. Good. All right, so I see you then. I'll see you tomorrow again. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Where's the button? Oh.
It's been three days since Tristan's gallbladder surgery. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready or not, here I come, right? Once his IVs are removed, he will be ready for discharge. Oh, fast or slow? Slow. Okay. You need to hold this very tight because it's a big, big needle that catheter that they use. How did you do? A little bit more. There we go. Tight, 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 tight. Oh. Number one. Is it because mommy's holding it too tight? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry? Oh. Just it's bleeding. Oh. It's bleeding, bud. Oh. Great. Yeah. Mommy's just looking to see how it's going. Yeah. Which one is worse, the surgery or taking off the IV? IV. <laughs> Well, just look at it this way. You're a free man now. No mm. more IV. No more IV. Mm -hmm. Now, you still want to go home or you want to stay here? No! <laughs> what? You don't want to keep me company for another day? Tristan is very eager to get out of the hospital and back home to his mother's kitchen. You call, you call this food? <laughs> it smells. Good. Tristan has fully recovered from his gallbladder surgery. He can only hope that one day a cure will be found for sickle cell anemia. Liam and Joseph have both bounced back from injuries that took them to the hospital's emergency room. Let's go! Move that puck, Morel! Let's go! It will take more than a cut ear or a sore knee to keep them out of the game. One month after her kidney transplant, Kaya is ready for discharge. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You got it or is it too heavy? <laughs> okay. Then you have to carry Dora. You have to do one of the two, okay? You carry Dora. Are we going? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Can you tell mommy where we're going? Kaya is happy to be back home in Thunder Bay and continues to do well with her Aunt Sherry's kidney. We've been home for just over a month. And uh, everything's... Just like nothing was ever wrong. <laughs> What's that? Every once in a while they'll phone me and say, what did you have? What, did you take some hyperactivity drugs or something and put it in that kidney? Because she's just bouncing all over the place and running and doing everything. I said, well, you know what? We got to be thankful for that because she didn't do it for so long. Can I see it? So to see her little tantrums or her, you know, jumping and playing and come on guys, let's go. It's, it's just amazing. Well worth it. Can you give me a big kiss? Ooh. A big kiss? Mwah. Thank you. Can you blow kisses? Can you blow kisses? <laughs> Good girl.